right, I'm bored. So, y'all get to see my face for once. Because I'm gonna get bored. Now, it always makes me really nervous when I see other people talking and recording themselves when they drive. But it's not that big a deal because I'm not touching the phone. I'm not even looking at the phone. Oh, it's <laughs> when they look at the phone. That's when it freaks me out. Because I'm like, no, don't look at the phone, just look at the road. So, you won't see me looking at you very much. I'm on I-84 in Connecticut, headed, well, eventually south, I think, I, whatever way 84 goes, I don't know. Um, we left about 10.30 this morning, it's now 4.42, and we still have like 400 miles to go, so there's still like another seven hours, that's if we don't hit a lot of traffic. And I was trying to avoid traffic, like, if you go I-95 south, like, the bottom of Connecticut you hit traffic like a lot and so I was like okay I'll avoid that and that'll be good and but apparently getting on to 290 and parts of 290 and parts of I-90 or um also have quite a bit of traffic so that was fun so I'm still in New England even though I left Maine at 10 30 this morning it feels like a really really long trip I have watched, no, I don't watch, I don't watch YouTube when I'm driving. I listen, I just listen, I don't watch. If there's anything that looks, if there's anything that looks like something that I'm going to want to look at, I don't watch that. I actually made a little playlist of all, I've been missing my YouTube, my YouTube family this past two weeks. I've been so busy, oh my goodness. Okay, I'll do a little recap on my vacation, which, you know, was just hanging out, doing stuff. So we left, what day do guys do we leave? I don't know, we left Friday, two Fridays ago, not, well, from tomorrow, so tomorrow's the 13th, but we left uh, July 30th, 31st, July 31st, and we got, bless you, Nathan, we got to the pond, and we were able to start our vacation a night early and be at the cottage that Friday night, which was nice, and then uh, my aunt and uncle were there, and my cousins were there already, so that was nice. And we played some game. Do we play games that night? I think we did. We played some card games that night. I went in the water. Um, it was a nice week of visiting, and it, I did got a little bit of crafting done. Not much. Um, I did a little bit of collage one time. I did a little bit of jelly plate one day. When I sit on the beach, I would just kind of do some slow stitch fake embroidery kind of thing just making up stuff as I go along you know me I wing it and um let's see what did I do anything else oh I did a watercolor tried I did a blue heron no not a blue heron a green heron we've never seen a green heron at the pond before that was a first at least that's oh Nathan thinks Nathan doesn't remember looking up a green heron before I've never seen a bird like that at the pond before from what I could see of it, I wasn't wearing my glasses. Nathan saw it more clearly, and he looked it up for me, and it was a green heron. Green heron. So I watercolored that. I kind of wanted to watercolor all the animals I saw, but I don't have that kind of time, apparently. So um, then, let's see, Wednesday afternoon, it started raining, and it rained until sometime uh, Friday early, early morning. It rained that there was like a little break around 1 o'clock on Thursday when I got in the water to cool off because it was fairly hot and humid and I don't know what I was doing that made me so hot that day. I don't know. Because it was only around uh, high 70s, low 80s for the whole week. So it wasn't even really that hot, but I still got sunburn. First day, last day, sunburn. Stripe. I remember to wear sunscreen like one day that I was there. Um, so yeah. Uh, then on the Friday was our last day and In half a mile keep left to stay on I-84 on I-84 yeah I'm recording on my other my other phone which doesn't have any mobile data or anything because I was worried if I recorded on my regular phone that I wouldn't that the uh, the map wouldn't be able to tell me keep where to left go. to stay on I-84 so that's what's going on with that so the sound and the picture probably won't be great also the thing that's holding my phone right Continue now on i-84 for four miles this this thing that's holding my phone is a little wobbly so good luck with that but i figure anybody watching this is probably doing the dishes or making supper or doing some art artsy thing so 
So I'm not worried about which, whether it's portrait or landscape, landscape or even the fact that I have no makeup on. I don't care. I'm 50. I've got skin discoloration. I've got my double, triple chin. Um, well, I'm wearing sunglasses. Well, the little things that go over your glasses to be sunglasses. So not wearing mascara. Who cares? I don't care. I just too old to care. I'm, I'm at that point in my life. Okay. So, uh, the Friday before we left, it was really hectic. Everything took way longer than I thought it was going to be. We got on the road later than I wanted. The boys did not get their Peaceful Meadows ice cream. So we were sad. Um, in the town I grew up, Middleborough, Massachusetts, there's a place called Peaceful, Me Peaceful Meadows. They have such good ice cream. And that's where I always went growing up, like after a school concert, because I was in band. Band geek. Hi. Um, and so I've, you know, introduced that to my boys over the years, and they love it, and we never got to go get it, because I'm a bad mom, apparently. And they wanted to go to Baldi's, too. Those are the two places they love, but it took so long for us to get moving, and it was Friday. I just, I had to get on the road, so we got subpar subs, <laughs> subpar subs at the gas station. I can't remember the name of the restaurant that's in there. Uh, used to be a subway. It's something different now. And I got a nice coffee and got gas. We got on the road and finally got on the road for up to Maine at 3 o'clock that afternoon. Got to my aunt's house about 8.30. So we did hit some traffic going up. Um, I just went 95. I didn't go through Boston because, like I said, it was a Friday. So, yeah, took a little while. It's about a 250, 260 mile trip, about that, somewhere somewhere around there, 260, 275, I forget. From um, Middleborough to, uh, in Maine, where we go, where I have family. So, let's see, so Saturday, oh, I did I a little bit of laundry. Bless you, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm a, oh wait, hold on, I gotta pay attention. Hold on, which way do I need to go? Uh-huh. But I, I need to figure out, I have to stay to the right. Hold on, hold on. You're pre-blessed. You're the firstborn, you're already blessed. Okay. Well, it's not telling me what to do, but I can see that I have to veer right. But I have to do this to see because these are glasses for seeing distance. And when I want to see my map, I have to do other things to be able to see it. All right, so Saturday I was pretty busy. I did the laundry, visited grandmother, Went and saw my aunt. I, so I did quite a bit of walking. They're not far, so I like walked over to my aunt's house to bring her her grandson's towel he left at the pond. And then a little later, I walked up to grandmother's to say to visit her for a little bit. I can't remember anything else I did Saturday. It just I got steps in that day. Let's put it that way. Uh, Sunday. Did I do anything Sunday morning? Oh, I went to the room. In two. half a mile, keep right to stay on I-84. Follow signs for I-91 right North. Now. It's already separating now, not in half a mile. Um. So yeah, I went to the Route 2, the antique mall that's on Route 2 up there. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Alex would know. Uh, that morning and went to the grocery store, got iced coffee. Keep right to stay on I-84. At the Dunkin' Donuts near the grocery store. And then that night we had Saturday night supper. Yes, I realized. Continue on I-84 for 14 miles. We're talking about Sunday. Yes, we had Saturday night supper on a Sunday at my aunt's house at the pond. We call it the lot. Because when I was growing up, it was just kind of a rundown little building. There's a speed trap ahead. Don't believe her. Every time she said that, one out of ten times there's been an actual speed trap. But I'm trying not to speed too much anyway. What is the exit only? All right, so we had Saturday night supper. Uh, Joel, but how many people are there on Sunday night for Saturday night supper? Oh, it's Saturday night supper in Maine. It's just like Franks and beans and coleslaw, but we have some other stuff too. So that's basically the gist of the meal. So it was nice to see family. And then one day, oh, Monday was fun. I got to meet Alex Crafty Goose. She is also a YouTube uh, creator. YouTube person and we went to the big chicken barn bookstore and antique store and we 
and also a place called Relics, 1A Relics or Relics on Route 1 down up, up. I keep forgetting it was like past Bangor and stuff, so. We were up, oh shoot, there's more traffic, much, much more traffic. I knew there would be, that's just the way my day's been going. So I got a few books and I will do a haul on those this week. Um, let's see. So yeah, and we had lunch at Governor's. I've never actually eaten at Governor's. My aunt and uncle used to eat there for their um, anniversary most years. Now, for privacy, I don't say my aunts and uncles' names, but my mom had nine siblings, so they're all pretty much different aunts and uncles when I talk about them. Um, I don't know what to do with this. This phone is, it's not the phone. It's like, well, that's it. You're gonna have to see the roof. The, oh, you get to look at the sky. Man, that's a lot of sky. It's alright, the sky is prettier than my uh, face, so. I know, I'm not ugly. I'm pretty, I know. I'm so pretty, oh so pretty. Okay. Alright, so that was Monday. Had a really good time. So Tuesday, what did I do on Tuesday, Joel, besides, oh, did Tuesday, no, yeah, Tuesday we went down to the Truergy Farms so the boys could visit with their cousin, my cousin's son, so their second cousins, because um, he's working all the time. So he was able to take a break and they were able to hang out a little bit and got some ice cream, sort of made up for the ice cream they didn't get in Middleboro. Um, and they liked it and they want to get it again. It was Gifford's Ice Cream, I think is the brand. So they really liked that. How big is this tunnel? Yes, the Yes, the air is on recycle. That's, my boys are very concerned that when we go through tunnels that the air is on recycle they don't want all the exhaust fumes it's not a long tunnel it's just a short tunnel um okay so tuesday the farm uh then drove back to mark well we kind of drove into bangor i was gonna go to uh goodwill but there was just so many cars that i decided to just we just drove back to my aunt's house and just hung out for a little bit and then we went to anglers in hamden with my dad and my brother and his family and I got there and they said they had three parties and they'd have room for the 10 of us. One of the parties was, it was like for 11, seven and 14 or something. I'm like, okay, it doesn't sound like any of our parties. And they're like, well, are you Nick, is it Nick's party? I'm like, no, and they didn't give me any other names. If they had said my sister-in-law's name, then I would've been like, yes, that's the party. But no, they didn't. So I was like, they're like, it's a minimum 45 minute wait. Cause apparently Tuesday nights, it's 99 cent draft night. So if you're going to have a lot of people, you need to make a reservation at Angler's on a Tuesday night because they are booked. Fortunately, my niece knows somebody who works there or goes to school with somebody who works in the, in the uh, he's a dishwasher and he had, she had called him and he set up a reservation. The confusing part is that he set it up for 11 which, because she thought Mike was going to be there. So it didn't occur to me that, oh, somebody might have thought it was 11 if they didn't know my husband wasn't there. So we did not have to wait 45 minutes to an hour to get a place. I was so glad. And we had the sweetest, the, the best waitress. Her name was Destiny at Anglers and Hamden. She was really great. Thank well, you, well, Destiny. You know, but also y'all haven't come in to see Andrea yet. Who That's hasn't family. come in to see Andrea? All of you as a family just to dine in at Bob Okay, you know I'm recording for YouTube, right? But I'm just saying. Oh. Okay, apparently Joel wants all my YouTube family to okay. go to his work to meet his girlfriend. I, don't know. I, t <laughs> I think he thought that I was so doing like, one for Facebook because uh, normally yeah, I would just type updates. Yet. We haven't all. Oh, oh had okay. A we haven't had. I'm not it's saying that Andre is not a good server. I'm just yeah, saying really the Destiny did a great job. Sure. Table of ten. Tipped her really well because I like to do that. All right. Um, well, actually, I, I added wrong in my head and I didn't tip her as well as I wanted, but my dad and my sister in law threw some money in and then we did tip her very well. Also, so, wait, about name privacy, eh? Name privacy? Well, too bad. You already said Andrea. Already said the service name. Well, Destiny is works at Anglers and Dow people know. Yeah, tip her really well because she's a really great waitress. Um, uh, let's, oh, he's totally thrown me off my game now. So that was Tuesday night. Wednesday morning with my couple of my cousins and their daughters, Joel and Nathan and I, 
went to Tidal Falls Preserve. So I never go up that, that way this often. I'm like, twice. I've been up past Point Bangor now this past trip. I don't usually... Dude, really? Just decide last minute to go over. That's fun. Um, yep, it is. They're going to get all my little road rage comments. I'm um, not road rage. Road rant comments. I don't really rage. I rant. Um, so Wednesday... Wednesday, Wednesday, we're still on Wednesday. We did, oh yeah, the tidal falls. We got there about 9.15, it was drizzly. Uh, tide was mostly, the tide had started coming up a little bit. It wasn't the lowest tide, but they saw some starfish and a couple crabs and lots of mussels and some weird larvae kind of gray larvae thing that basically they are in a little clump all together and they move as one. Well, that was because they were doing like those ant species do where they put all their bodies together Sort of, yeah. They were like down in a there piece of ones crawling around on the buried wood. Oh, you saw some? Did you know? Figure out what kind of larvae or what kind of animal sure. bug they were. I don't know. I love that my kids are. <laughs> one thinks they're isopods. One thinks they're crustacean. If I get a, if I. Nathan got a video, but my cousin got a better video where you can kind of see them moving. So if I can get her to send that to me, I'll try to put it. I put up a clip as a short and you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it was kind of weird and funny and creepy and I don't know. Nathan was, oh yeah, so Nathan was curious and he's like, what's down in this? There's like a piece of wood that's sticking up. It's buried under the sand. It's sticking up a little bit. It's like a little hole. And he just was curious what was inside there. So we took his camera, shone the flashlight and saw that. Who knew? And Joel would have stayed all day if I let him. He wanted to see the whole tide come in. Uh, you, oh, there are some shorts that show the tidal falls. That was Wednesday morning. Then we went back to my aunt's house, had a nice dinner of uh, pork and potatoes and yellow squash and green beans and some raw vegetables. Oh, I love when there's that many vegetables in a meal. It really fills you up nicely. It makes you feel good that you ate all those vegetables. We'll ignore all the butter that was on. <laughs> That's just, just extra flavor. Butter's not bad. Butter's good in moderation. It was really good. So, and dad, and dad came over for supper last night. So we got to visit with dad and not sure when he's going to come down for the winter, but at some point he will come down to Virginia to stay with us for the winter. Uh, but he has uh, appointments, doctor appointments. He has to figure out that are like six weeks apart. So it's hard for him. He just has to decide if he wants to find a doctor for the winter. Down in Virginia. Oh my word, I hate when people do that to their engines and make them all loud and annoying. Ugh. Don't you hate that? Alright, let's see. I hate that. Why? It's noise pollution. It's noise pollution. Just noise pollution, period. I usually don't complain. I'm not usually complaining. Silent pollution? What is silent pollution, Joel? Is that like a silent, silent fart and it's actually air pollution? <laughs> what are you talking about? Joel has been a little bit argumentative this week. I don't know. Maybe he was tired. You were. He fell asleep yesterday. Yesterday was Wednesday. So today's Thursday. We are driving home from Maine to Virginia. It is a long drive. And traffic which makes it feel longer um i should be pet oh, five three six three seven three, eight, three, 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 three. we might be at the halfway mark now I, I i know where the halfway mark is between middleborough and virginia where i live um actually is the same town but in new jersey same name of the same town where i live is it, i live in woodford virginia i know i shouldn't say that in youtube out here so the halfway mark between there and where I grew up is Woodbridge, New Jersey. What name? What name, Joel? Don't say the address. No. Okay, I can say the city but not the address? No. I'm not going to say the address. Why would I say the address? Oh my goodness. Uh, some people actually say their, they, the, their, uh, their location does it. Like, okay, I know that Carrie lives in Wales. I'm not gonna go find him there. 
find him walking biscuit someday. I think we're fine. No, actually, he has it. Uh, the location where in Wales he is. It starts with a C. I forget it, what it is. I want to say Camden, but that doesn't sound right. In Wales. All the names are in Welsh. Oh my goodness! So now you guys know what I live with. I don't know if you can hear what they're saying back there. You probably can't even hear what I'm saying. So now I'm gonna stop this video so I can talk about crafty things. Oh, I can always edit it. Yeah, because I edit. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. You guys have a delightful day. Love you. I'm back in more traffic.